Hey again, I have a quick uh, what can you do with old wall warts and leftover computer parts, in particular power computer parts. So quick video on uh, just uh, some swift little ideas. This is a leftover uh, wall wart for an Energizer uh, AA, AAA charger, which was a terrible charger. Of course, I probably bought it with the intention of getting the batteries that came with it more than I cared about the charger because it's a typical cheap battery charger it doesn't really monitor voltage properly you have to put them in in pairs and all that wonderful stuff there's plenty of videos out there that explain it but for those who may not have heard you don't want to get a cheap charger you don't want these cheap little chargers that come with the batteries and it feels like it's an awesome deal you want to spend some serious money and not a hundred dollars necessarily but you want to spend some serious money on a battery charger 50 between 50 and a hundred dollars is a good place to start so but anyways I digress from that so this is useless to me for use with the charger because the charger's gone because I hated it but it's a fairly nice uh, wall wart in that it's a 12 volt 3 amp max output and there's a lot of stuff that I fiddle with that uses 12 volts especially for computers in particular, uh, just making sure that something powers on. So, along with that 12 volt aspect, and then the fact that uh, I want the ability to easily put pieces on and off of this, I figured why not, uh, from one of my dead PC power supplies, steal the, the power out, connect it onto the color appropriate 12 volt lead, which is the yellow, 5 volt is on the red. And uh, I soldered it all together, all nice, and I put heat shrink tubing around it to keep everything all nice and tight and solid. And now, just a little bit of MacGyvering, I've uh, got myself effectively a universal 12-volt uh, connector. Because at this point, on the other side, if I really want to, there are plenty of the other ends of these connectors that I've got floating around the house that I can make as a connector to go onto this. So once I put a connector onto this, then the other end, throwing stuff around, such as this. A lot of these come off of fans or accessory power taps, so I can throw this in. And once I actually uh, do something with this one, uh, then I've got a connector that can plug into anything I want. So kind of made my own universal 12-volt uh, power supply. So kind of a handy thing to do with any of these older power supplies that are hanging around. I've got all kinds of uh, old laptop power supplies that I may do something similar to that. Uh... The other thing to go along with that that I did, and I was stupid and got ahead of myself, I haven't finished it, I have to tear it apart. I'm doing the same thing with an old cell phone charger on 5 volt, and I've grabbed an old computer USB power, uh, or not USB power, but USB data cable, and pulled it out of the D bracket, because this was back when computers had extra USB connectors hanging out the back end of the the computer but not off the motherboard's edge but out of the uh, expansion slots so I had some of the stuff left over and uh, salvaged it out and uh, once I get my order of operations back into proper order so I can get some good heat shrink tubing around that so that it's properly protected then uh, I'll have one for uh, USB 5 volt and this one was done off of a very old LG or Samsung? Samsung little travel charger that came with some old cell phones of mine. It's a 1 amp output, 5 volt. Perfect for USB devices. So, again, I am not an environmentalist, but I am a save moneyist. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Yeah, do it when it's appropriate. And This is definitely one of those times when this is appropriate. It's not a big deal to repurpose these things. Just put the time into it. Get the practice up. Remember to put your heat shrink tubing on first before you solder it all together. And uh, 
everything comes out in the wash and then now you've got uh, a usable adapter for some other project. Thanks.